character matter. And I am Lieutenant Aldo Rain. But I'm 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 brought back from the dead to, to kill Question. from dead. Do we owe you zombie scalps? Zombie scalps. All the zombie scalps. <laughs> one one million trillion zombie scalps. <laughs> Forty two billion zombie scalps taken. <laughs> and I want my scalps. <laughs> I want my scalps. So uh, welcome to Mind Breakers. Uh, we are doing we're showing that plows fucking bullets into zombie heads we're doing oh, outpost it. today yeah from 2008 i was kind of, i'm kind of excited for this but at the same time i'm not very it it seems like very cheeky fucking like old b-movie-esque bullshit straight to dvd bullshit Almost. i remember i watched this um when i was in high school i i had a good time with it Watch i've it. never seen this before watch it with my dad I've seen like uh, I've seen parts of the other ones where like fucking literal Nazi zombies are popping out of like the fucking snow. Yeah, dead snow. And like fucking straight up like seven twentying like platoons of guys. That's pretty dope. <laughs> I do think it was especially funny in Dead Snow when the the, the guy he has uh, like he, he gets bit in the pl- in, in the arm and he amputates it. He gets bit in the other, in the leg and he amputates it because he gets bit in the dick. It's like yeah, I guess I'm fucked then. Because <laughs> I refuse to cut my dick off. Yeah, exactly. Like, nah, I'm not. I'm not living like the fucking uh, like the spider, <laughs> where I have to literally be a fucking eunuch <laughs> at all times. It's like, nah. And also, the, suddenly, the unsullied life is not for me. And also, gets suddenly very <laughs> badly written near the end of the series. Well, I haven't seen fuck all from the series aside from clips, and I've mostly not watched it because of you know the fact that we're gonna watch it on the show. So. What? Now that we're here... You mean Game of Thrones? I'm no, talking this. about Game of Thrones. Yeah, okay. Well, okay. I'm talking about this. So. I've only seen the first one. Okay. So, in war-torn Eastern Europe, yep. a world-weary group of mercenaries discover a long-dead secret in an abandoned World War II bunker. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty straightforward, honestly. Like, not a lot, uh, not a lot really, in the, in the subtlety and the obscurity. This is a fourth one. You know, yeah, that's oh. mostly the one that I've seen. I thought you main, ma- mainly saw Rise of the Spetsnaz. That that too. There's a lot of clips from that one also. But uh, mainly I've seen like... Oh, uh, Black Sun is the second one. Okay. Yeah. Well, see, I've seen like uh, clips from the fourth one and the third one. So. so, let's dig in and watch this shit. Brains. Probably some of the main characters don't have any. Sixty years ago, the war ended. But for eight men, you worked with mercenaries before. So what is real story, huh, Top? Who unearthed the past? An equation that could potentially alter reality. A soldier that was invulnerable, unstoppable. The battle has just begun. Bring it on. They want soldiers. Let's give them soldiers. They just do what they were trained to do. They kill. They're going to tear us to pieces here. Ray Stevenson. Outpost. Well, that didn't end like I was expecting it to. Yeah, it wasn't really the the type of movie I was, you know, expecting. It was sort of what I was expecting, but not exactly the way I was planning on. I mean, it happening. they're not zombies. They they sort of are, but at the same time, they're using you know like physical and uh, well, like a psycho uh, spiritual and like a uh, magnetic fields. It's it's pretty weird. And they also they're too smart. Yeah. And, uh... Well, they're still, like, well-trained. Yeah. It's... Remember, this is based off of their, their prior, like, like mental Don't states. think they can die. They're, they are dead. I don't think they can talk, either. And, um, they don't turn people or eat people. They just kill people. Yeah, for sure. Well, then again, there's not, uh... Actually, that's not entirely for sure, because there's the possibility that the people that they kill 
come back and maybe get assimilated into the ranks. I don't think so. I think they're the same unit from back in World War II. Maybe, but then again, there's always that possibility that there could be more than what we're seeing. True. So it's just a, well, it's no a in the sequels. Of perspective, maybe, and like uh, just the way that you see it. But uh, anyhow. Uh, sequels will show us. Yeah. Uh, for starters, though, like we, we begin with basically uh, Ray Stevenson being tasked with the Punisher. assembling a squad. Yeah, the exactly. Punisher. The Punisher. Uh, he's the main character, really, in this. Uh, he ends up getting tasked with uh, getting the squad together to go assault this bunker. So he finds a bunch of people in Eastern Europe. Yeah, exactly. He meets a bunch of them in uh, in a bar with a bar- uh, with a very depressed stripper during a yeah. war torn, like uh, in this war torn, you know. Well, it's Eastern Europe being Eastern, Eastern European Europe. European country, wherever the fuck they are. Um, and then it's like uh, they basically just end up getting inside of a truck, getting driven out there in a convoy. Uh, they're all bitching in the fucking truck, like, why don't we have a fucking helicopter? Couldn't the company have paid for a little bit of a better transport? And then the... And then, yeah, the black dude's like... Well, you want to get shot out of the sky with an RPG like last time? Yeah, exactly. You're gonna get fucking bombarded, like, anywhere, the, like, um, anywhere around the... We, we immediately here. get... Good fucking job, retard. In my <laughs> opinion, the major problem with these characters... Yeah. Like in Predator or in Aliens and such, and such, the uh, the team going to hunt the mo- fight the monster, they're a team. They know each other. They've worked together before. Yeah, these guys before. are just a bunch these of guys fucking are... shit heel mercs. This is a it's bad D- This is a bad D and D party because it's when the DM has no good way for them to meet each other. So you just run into a bunch of other adventures in a bar. Yeah, exactly. The tavern, the tavern is basically just like. Oh, hey, here's a meeting point for all of the fucking player characters that we're going to be seeing. Everybody has their little backstory and their personality, uh, even though most of them are just kind of shit heels who are out for themselves. Uh, but some of them are actually just kind of like a little bit religious. Uh, one guy's a smart doctor dude. One guy's an asshole. Yeah, one guy's straight up just a fucking Irish dickhead. I thought he was Southern. Uh, no, there's a southern guy who's a, an asshole, but there's also an Irish dude who's an asshole also. Well, they're all assholes. Even even Ray Stevenson is an asshole. <laughs> he's a pretty big asshole, but at the same time, he's the most like professional of them all. Anyway, so uh, they all go to get over there and stuff. The the dialogue is actually pretty good in this movie. Like, I have to give it that. Like uh, I have to applaud the, the writing in this. It is if good. it wasn't for that, the whole thing would have fucking been pointless and would have fallen apart like right away. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it was pretty good. They end up getting like to the to the bunker pretty much. Uh, like they they just start looking around it basically. Well, like they send like a couple of people in. Ray Stevenson goes in like as point man, leaves basically everybody on the outside to just kind of watch out. Yeah. Um, <laughs> as they're looking around on the outside, one guy just goes to another one. He's like, hey, "You'd be smart if you weren't so fucking dumb." <laughs> Which is a good line. Yeah, it's really fucking good. It, like, sums up basically, like, that entire guy's, like, personality, really. It was just like, you know what? If you weren't such a fucking moron, you know, you might actually be a fucking, like, smart we person. We don't you know? get a lot about the characters, unfortunately. Yep. Which is disappointing. I just got a message. Yes, you did. Yes, I did. But the, 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 a lot of them I give they're kill about. fodder. Yeah, exactly. I know one guy's name is Pryor, and one guy's name is Tack, but I don't know who the fuck's name is Tack. Yeah. There's uh, an Eastern European guy who dies first. Yeah, I think yeah, I think it's just literally his entire thing, you know? It's just to bless you. Thank you. It's a, it, yeah, it's just to bless you. <laughs> it's, a, it's, just a, it's just to basically get captured at the beginning and show them that there's something out there fucking... Waiting them for them, yeah, and exactly. it ain't no man... <laughs> It's a very, uh, it's a very fucking nihilistic and, uh, like, dark, uh, hopeless kind of setting, yeah. this movie, like, takes East, in. you mean Eastern Europe. Yeah. <laughs> but, like, not just that, it's just very, like, it's all washed out, you know, like, you, there's Eastern, all, there's like, no Eastern color. Europe. Yeah, exactly, but, like, it's, it's not just that, it's, it's a lot more to it, it's, like, it's very just, like, um. Very Cthulhu esque, also very uh, H.P. Lovecraft in that yes. sense. Yeah, bit like uh, super fucking hopeless. Yeah, like no, no. The point the, the in good really ending funding. is is suicide. Yeah, the only the only ending is is the ending you make. You know, your yourself, just kind of like ending it all. 
Yeah. Before before the fucking creatures get to you and end you. But uh, anyways, they they end up going down there. They start looking around and stuff. And while they're looking around, uh, they get basically uh, pinched from outside. Like a bunch of them start showing up in the mist, and uh, they start fly and they start firing at them because uh, like they see them moving a little bit. Uh, they end up coming out from from downstairs. And then they realize that there's nothing out there anymore. Nope. Uh, one guy goes like, "You got a little, uh, you got a nervous little bitch finger, don't you, on that trigger, huh? Yeah, yeah you're uh, a little bitch boy." <laughs> obviously, this is the, this is prior the southerner. Yeah. The asshole. So uh, they check the tree line. Uh, I don't think they find anything. I think they find like maybe just like a a, a, a fucking iron cross. Yeah. And like no bullet shells, nothing like that. Uh, like, they just literally, I think, found an iron cross out there. But, uh, they end up looking around more downstairs. Uh, some guy slob squats in, like, full fucking tracksuit. Yeah, I, I didn't get why he was here. <laughs> he's just, he's just a slob, bro. Well, they, I mean, they didn't find him in Eastern Europe, so I guess it makes sense. He's where he belongs. Yeah, I think they straight up tell him, like, uh, I think they even say, like, uh, I think he's former Spetsnaz or something. Oh, but that's later in the series. I don't know. But, uh, anyways, they check the basement some more. They find a pile of dead bodies. As you do. Yep. Uh, an arm pops out from them, though. Yeah, and there's and one. And then, like, immediately we're like, oh, it's Nazi zombies! And uh, it's like, oh, no, it's just a guy. He's just, just a bald dude. He's alive. Yeah, he's alive. Well, he's the only one left alive there. He's alive, but he's unreactive. Yeah, he's not, uh, he doesn't say anything. He's not really, like, reacting to fuck all. He's just, uh, he's catatonic, basically. Yeah. And that's how he likes it. Yeah. And uh, they, they start basically talking to him a little bit, uh, trying to get him to talk at all. He doesn't respond. Uh, they find a Nazi. They find like a swastika basically projecting uh, with a whole bunch of slides, uh, a whole bunch of documents too. Yeah, there's uh, experiments to make uh, unkillable Nazi super soldiers. Yeah, but they figure that out a little bit later. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't take them like, uh, it doesn't take them two seconds. They figure it out like, uh, I think like, 10 hours later or something. Yeah, but it, it meanders around a lot before oh, yeah. they get to that point. But uh, they mention, like, stuff like, uh, oh, yeah, this has been abandoned since, like, 1945. Uh, that was the last appearance of the Nazis, really. Um, uh, they, they scream at him a bunch in, uh, in, in Russian and German. They call him fuck me a bit. He doesn't care. He doesn't give a shit. <laughs> He's just sandbagging everything. He's just like, nah, fam. <laughs> I'm not giving you fuck all. Um, what is it? Uh, they were mentioned it's supposed to be like a 48 hour job. So they sit on the bunker a little bit, uh, reading through documents, sifting through things, uh, boxes of effects and everything. They start going through those. Touching people's stuff. Yeah. Burying the dead. Um, they, they find a big machine finally. And, uh, the doc starts inspecting it and they basically... Uh, long story short, they end up figuring out that it basically manipulates energy fields. Yep. Uh, the whole area around the base is, uh, like manipulated by an electromagnetic pulse or something. Yeah. Uh, that basically affects, uh, the dead around it and, and the living too, because that's how, you know, they're seeing the zombies. And that, that's also what fucked with their, um. Their equipment before. Yeah, exactly. All of their uh, yeah, all of their that comms. made yeah fried their comms yeah, entirely because exactly. they were getting like a lot of static on the way in. I don't think we mentioned that. No, we did not. No, but uh, it ends up fucking with them a little bit more because at some point they end up playing fucking Ludwig van Beethoven's fucking Ninth Symphony. <laughs> and it's like really. I was I was um I was your fault. I was cured. All right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love Ludwig van. It's a sin. <laughs> this movie is kind of a sin, bro. It it really is. It's like, oh oh, really? You want you want to go down in there and not fucking expect anything to to give you any resistance? Well, <laughs> fuck that's you. That's a right? pa that's paddling. Yeah, exactly. That's a paddling. <laughs> You fucking and the dummies. Nazis take their paddlings real seriously. <laughs> oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> they fucking they torture the shit oh, out of the, the fucking Irish dude and the Russian guy. They hammer bullets into well, his fucking they, leg. Uh, they find someone's been shot. 
Yeah, and they're like they they fought, to look to look at the bull like it's a it's a nineteen forties nineteen forties show from a, yeah it's like seven four five yeah, or something. Like, um, there's no way this could have cleared a barrel. Yeah. <laughs> It's what like, what do you it, mean? If whoever, it hasn't been fired, if someone shot this, it would have killed them. Yeah, exactly. It wouldn't have fucking. It wouldn't have gone through. Like it's it's not up to snuff. Like this thing's old as shit. Like it's it's a fucking dinosaur bullet. It's a, but the the fucking Nazis use them like they're fucking nails, nails and it's <laughs> kind of disturbing. Yeah, they fucking pump them into people's legs with mm. a fucking knife. Like, slamming them in. That is what they do. Yeah, exactly. It's fucking... It's it's harsh, man. It's really hardcore. They, they might as well be killing them with, like, fucking icicles. Yeah. Just because, like, that's a completely fucking, like, uh, like, clean way of getting away. Like, that zero forensics, zero, zero gunpowder, zero, like, anything. That's just pure kinetic force. Yeah. And, and a bullet. Like, they could have just slammed every bullet into the guy's head, and it would have been super fucking effective. Like, they would have never figured out anything. Like, shit all. When they're not stabbing people with their knives, that is. You know? But, uh, they end up uh, looking through a box of effects. Uh, basically, uh, Irish guys throwing pictures in, uh, in the bald dude's face. He's trying to play chess with them, but bald dude doesn't care. Because he's, he's the, because he's the black pieces. That's why. Yeah, yeah. If if they would have flipped the board around and had him be the bl- uh, the white pieces, I don't know. Maybe you would have actually played ball. Because <laughs> if you guys haven't figured it out yet, this bald dude's like a Gestapo Nazi. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like he's a fucking he's a he's like still a, a reanimated like I think he's the only one that can be fully reanimated like with his living corpse. Yeah. I think he's the only one that actually gets his corpse back. I don't know why exactly. Because he's the because like, he's, he's the leader. Yeah. Or maybe it's because he's the one that keeps turning the machine back on and resetting everything. Maybe that's why. Could be. He could be the Nazi doctor. Yeah, it's possible. But uh, he's a Gestapo. He's, he's smart. Yeah. And he, he retains at least some sort of uh, faculties, you know? Because some of them get their faculties back, uh, I'm sure, at least a limited amount. Hence why they're such efficient fucking killing machines. Oh, they, they, are, great, they are great at the killing. Oh, yeah, they're fucking, they're the best. They love it, though. <laughs> they're top notch, bro. They love it. <laughs> it's the best. They're the fucking greatest. But uh, they uh, they check around the machine and everything. Uh, the zombies are stealthing around while he's As, looking around the machine. And they're they're being all like, oh, you don't see me. Ooh, ooh, you see me? Yeah. Oh, no, you don't. Ha <laughs> ha. Just, like, random dead bodies keep popping up around them, and they, like, start seeing and hearing things a whole bunch. It's fucking weird. Which was why I was like, okay, they're supposed to be zombies, yet they're fucking ghosts. Yeah, they're, they're, they're really ghosty. It's, like, very strange. I got I got another message. Holy yeah. shit, I'm popular today. That's cool. Um, but, yeah, uh, Doc ends up, like, basically saying, like, this is the holy grail of physics, you know? Like, explains the whole machine and everything. It, it controls physics. Yeah. Which, the Nazis were after the holy grail. Of co- yeah, they were after all sorts of nonsense. Yeah, exactly. They were after the fucking, the holy lands and... Fucking uh, Pandora's box and a bunch of other bullshit, but uh, yeah, they're they're focusing really on this thing though right now. They're really hammering home the fact that they wanted all of them to come back from the dead as soon as the Third Reich fell, or so to keep the Third Reich from from the falling. Well, no, it, it was like it was almost for sure. Hitler was like almost banking on the fact that the Third Reich was gonna fall. Hmm. Hence why they had the reanimation process. Be and the goal like a, was, hey, we're going to make super uh, soldiers so we can take over the U.S. And they can't stop us because they can't, because our guys can't die anymore. Yeah, it was like their, it was like their scapegoat, you know? It was the yeah. race in the hole. Yeah. So, like, they end up, uh, they end up hearing Beethoven's uh, Ninth from the... dun 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 One guy's like, I fucking love culture. <laughs> fucking love culture <laughs> that was fucking funny actually that made me crack up <laughs> that got a bit of a laugh for me uh they start shooting more gorillas in the mist yep uh this is at the this is the point where uh the the russian guy attack ends up going missing and then he gets tortured a bunch yep um what is it uh ray stevenson holds uh holds a gun to the the bald dude's head and he's like look at me fuck with me and he actually does look at him <laughs> 
<laughs> like the fucking bald dude just like straight up actually turns around to look at him after he goes like fuck with me and like he actually like just gives him like a he might as well have given him a wink yeah. you might as well fucking shot a nice little wink at him and just like ha ha your entire your entire crew's get dead fucker <laughs> those of you in the first few rows will get wet yeah <laughs> It's like if if you're not getting wet from blood, uh, you're gonna get wet from uh, all these uh, all these jizz uh, jizz infused nasties because because uh, yeah, Hitler Hitler loves him some occult shit. He just loves he just loves beating off to the occult. It's his it's his fucking bread butter and and uh, and lubricant. Yeah, all in one. <laughs> so. He, he explains how like the Nazis are like, oh yeah, the, they fucking love them. They're uh, they're a cult. It shows like a bunch of uh, soldiers getting experimented on, and a bunch of them getting shot in the head. The whole reanimated dead take over the White House and the world. Yada yada yada. Um, some uh, sometimes it's not the bullet that kills you; it's the orders. Yeah. Doc says to uh, to Ray Stevenson. Yep. It's like uh, basically read the fucking files and you'll figure out what the hell's going on. Um, then they hear screams from the distance, the torture happens, um... Hammering bullets in. Yeah, exactly. Uh, next morning they find the, the dead bodies, basically, of, uh, of two dudes, basically, like, head-to-head with each other. Yeah. And, uh, black guy is like, this was to send a message. They wanted us, they wanted us to know something is fucked over here. Uh, the Irish guy is going through the dead guy's pockets, taking his money... Yeah. And they're just like, oh, it's pointless to fucking leave their money in their in Just, their we, hands. like, um... They don't need it where they're going to Do you think there's something, like, they're talking about the possibility of an afterlife? You know, I think we get And then the black guy's like, I think we gave up the, a chance at that when we started killing people who believed in things for money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, you know what? Yes. <laughs> it's like, uh, it's like in Spawn the Animated Series. And you know where you ended up when you die? What? Let's see if I can jog you. What? Let's see if I can jog your memory. When do you think a guy who murdered people for a living would end up after he's dead? Fucking, <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. Maybe in a shitty spawn movie. <laughs> Thanks, John Leguizamo. So are you saying Michael J. White was a horrible murderer, and that's why he had to do spawn? <laughs> yeah, exactly. He killed one too many people, and he ended up in the in the role of spawn. What would be one too many people to be, have to be in the movie Spawn? How many did you have to kill? Um, I don't know. Uh, he probably he probably killed uh, he probably killed like some fucking some like John Leguizamo sympathizer, like me, and hence why <laughs> hence why he had to be in fucking Spawn <laughs> with him. It's like ah, you think you can escape me, huh? Well, guess what? I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I'm gonna be here forever. <laughs> Because we're gonna be getting John wanna, Leguizamo in all kinds. Of I want to see too. how the I want to see how the other half lives. Yeah, exactly. Remember, remember when he would just became a zombie with a frog gun? Oh yeah. And landed the dead. That was such a bad film. Fuck me, man. That was awful. At least, uh, at least it's not him as fucking Tibbles. Ugh, fucking Romeo and Juliet is such a <laughs> terrible play. At least it's not that. But uh, yeah, so the whole send the message thing. Um, Black guy goes in to talk to the doctor, and he's like, uh, the doctor's like, we're all going to die. And he's like, huh, yeah, die of boredom from listening to you complain all the time. And then he gets killed by a Nazi. And then uh, a Nazi materialized behind him, because apparently they're, they, they, they're in part of the realm of physics. Yeah. And he just... They could just pop up wherever. Like, black guy see like, I think he sees the Nazi in the doctor's eye, like, in the re- reflected in the do- doctor's eye. Like, yeah, it's like, just it's like the hangman in JoJo. <laughs> run <laughs> it's the fucking hanged man in jojo he just comes out of the reflections it's like oh the for reflection in the glass that's how they're transporting <laughs> but uh no it's not actually that it's just literally they can fucking go through you know wherever they need to be i think they can like pass through shadows and stuff i think they don't exist on the material plane or something they can Hence why manifest they can shadows and shit briefly yeah it's a it's it's a weird sort of like explanation as to how they can pop up wherever, but uh, it's I digress. A fine explanation. Yeah. So, uh, his head gets popped against a wall. Yep. It um, is glorious. Uh, Doc ends up seeing the Nazi disappear in front of him, so he's like, "Oh fuck, they're ethereal." Um, 
they they figure out bald guy is a Gestapo after watching uh, after like seeing uh, him one of the projections being a Nazi in the being a Gestapo in the uh, in the film footage. Yeah, so one guy just walks up, shoots him in the fucking head, and then he comes back, and they're just like, "Oh fuck!" Irish guy's like, "Oh, you're humming me balls," <laughs> which is the best line in the movie. <laughs> it really was <laughs> basically just like, "Oh fuck me." <laughs> Oh, you're coming to me balls. <laughs> you got to be fucking shitting me. <laughs> oh, the boy to boy to ball. They're gonna get in me lucky charms. Oh, they're after me lucky charms again. Oh, oh, oh think, think of me fucking Guinness and <laughs> Guinness and flapjacks. <laughs> but uh, yeah, then they end up like hatching a plan um, to like basically get the machine turned on. Oh, it's my potatoes. Apparently, it was designed for containment. Caught to the potato fucker. Yeah. Dirty Tom. <laughs> you fuck potatoes. <laughs> yeah, let's just call him potato fucker for the rest of the review. <laughs> That's a great idea. We're totally not going to get shit on by the entire Irish community. <laughs> yeah, I think they're too drunk to watch our videos. <laughs> Either that or they're just drunk enough to be slightly belligerent in the comment section. <laughs> well, I don't have a comment section. <laughs> Sound off, fuckers! <laughs> Sound off, do it. <laughs> I want to hear from you. All your fucking joke and meanderings, I love it. <laughs> Maybe not you so much, but I, I love it. I, I live for this shit. I live, get reanimated, and fucking live again. I man. live, I die, I live, I die, I live again. For, all for this shit. Shiny and chrome. Right here. Shiny and chrome, baby. Exactly. So, Except for me, I'm fucking gold experience requiem, so. <laughs> only, like... Three guys are left and the doctor. Oh, yeah, for so sure. So they're like, but okay, they, we're going to do a... We're they gonna... plan this shit out, though. We got a plan. Yeah. They fucking... They go like, okay, we're going to set up good... lines out here on Spoilers. this Spoilers. It's not a good plan. <laughs> no, it, it almost worked. It worked for a little bit. Yeah. It did. <laughs> like, spoilers. It fucking worked for a bit. <laughs> but it could have been a little bit better because, of course, like... It just ends up falling through at some point, and, yeah. you know, they end up basically getting screwed after that. But, for the most part, it was a pretty good plan. Ray Stevenson gets the fucking mines let out, you know? He fucking basically, like, has and all of the They're gonna lure off. him into the machine, lure them to the machine so they can turn off the Nazi zombies. Exactly. They, they basically, their plan is to lead them down to the machine as close as humanly possible. And fucking turn it on at the at the exact moment that they get close enough. So they can all die. And yeah, exactly. And then trap them literally right there. Uh, this works for the most part. Because basically they end up like uh, setting off the alarm. Oh wow, I have a lot of texts coming in. I'm super popular today. But uh, yeah, the alarm goes off signaling the attack. Uh, they start popping up in the mist. Mm. Uh, they fight them all the way back back to the hall, basically. They turn them off, and then the machine blows up. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Southerner Pryor, though, dies fighting them. Yeah. With, he goes he, out He goes out swinging. He's got a shotgun. Oh, yeah, Because, sure. of course, he does. Well, he, got, he pops off the Chato gun like a boss. He is the Chato boss. He is the Chato gun boss, so. Because I'm Southern, click, click. Stay away from my daughter. <laughs> We don't take <laughs> we don't take kindly to no Nazis around here. Just he shows up, his sh with his shotgun, just no 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 no. Yeah, then they start actually coming out. <laughs> <laughs> and you haven't even seen fucking uh, Zombie Land either. I'm um, talking about Deliverance. Oh really? Yeah. They have a little banjo scene of that. It's what the banjo scene is from. Really? The dueling banjos is from Deliverance. Oh, well, aren't I an uncultured bastard? Yes, man? yes, I... you are. Fuck me. <laughs> well, next time I watch it, I'm actually going to know that's from. I fucking me. love culture. I fucking love culture. It's the best. <laughs> Especially because I'm out of fucking culture, apparently. I didn't... Okay, I haven't seen Deliverance. Okay, it's just one of those movies that fucking fell under my radar. Yeah. But now that I know that it's from Deliverance, I'll go home, watch that, and then watch Zombie Yeah, Lines definitely watch right Deliverance. Away. It's a great movie. This would actually probably make a good double feature with uh, with Zombieland. It's like get like get a sh like fucking hardcore like nihilistic I view on zombies. I think it would make a better double feature with Outpost too. Well, the whole series probably meshes properly together, but yeah. I'm saying this would probably work well with Zombieland because Zombieland is like a more like lighthearted romp. Yeah. 
But, uh, like, as opposed to this, which is just completely, we're all gonna fucking die, all hope is lost. So, the Nazi zombies come back, they kill the other guy, they stab the fuck out of him. Yeah, after the machine basically, like, uh, turns on, yeah. they all fall down, and they're like, we did it! We won! And then they get back up because the fucking machine shorts out. <laughs> so they stab the fuck out of one guy, out of the medic. Yeah. They, um... Uh, Ray Stevenson and the doc fall back into the machine room. Ray Stevenson has a big, uh, like, last stand that doesn't last very long, and he dies, like Billy. Yeah, he's just like, go up the escape hatch, because there's one inside the machine room, and the doctor, and I'll stay here and fight. The doctor tries to go through the escape hatch, finds the door blocked by Nazi zombies, and is killed, and then another key team comes in, and is killed. Yeah. He, that doc really figured out what it was like to be a TV dinner. Yes. Because he gets fucking wrecked as soon as he gets out of that fucking as soon as he gets out of that ventilation shaft bro they're just fucking ready with the gank squad like fucking gestapo man is just uh, like standing there he might as well have his fucking his hand behind his back just going you'll do that <laughs> and then like his fucking two soldiers just come in and he's just like snell and then they fucking murder him <laughs> and then the movie's over yeah, the cycle begins anew, basically. Because you can't... At, at the end of this fucking thing. Because all these guys did was make it worse because he gave the Nazi zombies back their common time. Yeah, exactly. They're just like, oh, you turned on the machine again? Oh, good. <laughs> How cute, you know? <laughs> like, that that's really going to stop us for a long fucking time. Like, good on you, you fucking idiots. Uh, but, uh, yeah, there's no telling whether the entire unit does get reincarnated. Uh, but I guess we're gonna have to watch the other movies to see what's up. And we will. What do you rate this film? Uh, this was actually better than I was expecting. Mm. Uh, it wasn't, it wasn't as, like, schlocky as I was yeah, It's not it was really be. zombies, that's the thing. Yeah, I'm sure the other ones get way more schlocky as we go. Oh, one of them's called uh, Rise of the Spetsnaz. Oh, yeah, for sure. But the this... The next one's called Black Sun. Yeah, but this one was pretty cool. Mm. Uh, I, I enjoyed this quite a bit, uh, especially because Ray Stevenson was uh, was the main guy. Ray Stevenson is cool. Yeah, exactly. Volstag the Voluminous. It was fucking cool that we get Punisher again. It was mm. tight as all shit. Uh, but I'm going to give this one... Um, I'm going to give this one my balls getting hummed out of, okay. uh, out of a total of uh, getting a bullet shoved in your eye. Yeah, mm. that's what I'm going to give it. Okay. I'm going to give it uh, that animation of the uh, Nazi zombies being resurrected. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was pretty good. That was actually legitimately They just well pop done. up like, ha ha! Yeah, whoever did that one, like, props to you. Like, that was, that was a pretty chill anime. Mm. I, I would watch an entire anime about, like, the fucking zombies getting... No, wait, what am I fucking saying? That is an anime. That's fucking Helsing. <laughs> it's just straight up, like, fucking Helsing, the OVA. This is Helsing, the live-action movie. Fucking Helsing Ultimate. It's just straight up Helsing Ultimate, the movie. <laughs> So are you, can we say that this movie, this was Helsing abridged? We no, can it say wasn't. this is this entire movie was muda 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 muda. And I'm trying to fucking stop the zombimbos. True. But, so uh, yeah, it was uh, it was good. I liked it. it was you know, a cool film. And uh, I, I recommend. Next Friday. Mm -hmm. Well, next Friday is a new month. Yes, it next is. Next Friday, we're on October. Yes. This is the spookiness time. Yeah, we're gonna do uh, we're gonna do some movies about evil fruit. Yeah, and things dying. Yeah. And then coming back again. It's a movie about evil fruit. And no, it's not what you're immediately thinking. <laughs> See you guys next time. Bye-bye. Stay